Hey Sunshine Nation, I'm Elder Mills and I'm a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I've been called to teach other people about Jesus and bring people the gospel. And originally I was called to serve in Colombia and speak Spanish. But of course all that has changed with the coronavirus. Big things are going to happen in the next hour. Let me tell you about it. Now, a mission, super important to me, I've been preparing since I was eight, saving money for it. I've been trying to prepare for it, reading scriptures, learning how to teach people, even learning Spanish. Now, it's all changed, I'm back at home. So I still have to live as a missionary in my home, and still have to make adjustments to my life, and still have to learn how to live as a missionary at home, which is kind of difficult but it's good for me at the same time. So I think it was kind of interesting how this all turned out. I thought, I'm just gonna go straight to Colombia and serve the Lord. So the Lord, He kind of had a different plan for me. He wanted me to learn something else. And I've definitely learned a lot more in this experience than, my, than I have in my whole life. And He just kind of showed me, I have a different plan for you. Though you may not know it yet, you are still called to serve me. You just don't know what's gonna happen yet. And so I've had to learn to put trust in God and to put faith in God and trust in something that I can't see yet in the future. And now I'm just kind of in that state where I've just been waiting and not knowing what's going to happen to me. And so I'm super happy to be here with my family, but now I have to go through that whole goodbye process again, which is kind of going to be sad, but I know that I'm here for a reason. Let me tell you the news that I just got. The church sent out an email giving missionaries two choices. Either one, they're going to be waiting a whole year to go on their mission, a whole nother year. Or, they can just wait until everything's ready for them to go to their mission. In about an hour, they're going to release me as a missionary, so I won't be a missionary anymore. Until, it's time for me to go out again. Which could be a few months, where they would say, Now the coronavirus has kind of calmed down a little bit, you can go back out and be a missionary. Now, they'll either call me to a US mission, and I'll be there temporarily and then I'll go down to Colombia or I'll just go straight down to Colombia or I could stay in the US mission the whole time we don't know what's going to happen but depending on if Colombia opens their borders or not will depend on how soon I go out there the other option that I was given was wait for a year 12 to 18 months and you get like a new call or you go to the same mission I feel like I'm going to choose the one where the first option where I can wait until they're ready for me and then just go out right when they say they're ready for me. I just feel like feel like that's what I should do is just go on the Lord's terms and not on my terms. Because I'll still be done with my mission at the same time. I just won't be, like right now, I'll still post videos and I'll still, I'll post more music stuff as well. And I'll be able to do all the stuff my family's doing because I won't have to be, I won't be a missionary anymore but I will still be studying, preparing to be a missionary, and I'll still share messages with you guys. Just because I'm released as a missionary doesn't mean I can't do the Lord's work. So I'll still be posting messages and still be spreading sunshine. People are wondering, how are you dealing with this? You've been preparing your whole life for this, saving up money for it, and now it's just been taken away from you. It's all just been kind of crazy, where you're not gonna serve in the place you thought you were gonna serve. The truth is, I've learned to trust in God and I cannot overcome this on my own. I definitely have learned to rely on the Lord and just say, Jesus, take the wheel. Just kind of show me where you want me to go. As you guys go through your lives, you guys will find the Lord will allow this kind of stuff to happen to you, to teach you. You'll see this stuff happen. That's just the way life is. Stuff happens all the time. We are going to have to learn how to trust God in these hard times because we are going to have to go through these times again. This is not the only time I'm going to go through something like this. This is life. Life is basically a roller coaster. And you don't know what's going to happen next. There's all kinds of twists and turns and you have no idea what will happen in the future. But if you can learn to trust God, whatever happens, the Lord wants it to happen. And the Lord's allowing stuff to happen for a reason. And we just don't see it as humans, but God sees it as a God. There are miracles yet to come. Thank you guys so much for all your comments and all your support. Now that right there, those comments right there is another reason why I've been able to handle this so well because that's kind of helped me to keep going and to keep wanting to share the message. So thank you. In about 30 minutes, I'm going to have to take this tag off. So 
this is your last time seeing me as a missionary for a while. But I'll still see you guys tomorrow with another message and another video. Keep spreading sunshine, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember to spread sunshine.